Hey, so this is a little tip for kind of helping learn and compartmentalize your lines for a show. Uh, the show doing now was The Bold, The Young, and The Murdered. I'm playing Valencio John, and like many actors, uh, you know, get my script, highlight all my parts, start learning them, but I found that when it comes to trying to keep the show in your head and keep your lines in order, a book like this is one of the worst ways to do it, so... Without really breaking the bank, Elmer's glue, something to glue it with, and a few trifold display boards. What you can do is uh, photocopy the script, not to pass out to anybody, you know, keeping it, keeping the copyright laws intact. This is just for your own use. And I've made kind of a visual layout of the whole show. What this kind of does is it helps let you know sort of where everything falls in line. Uh, this, I think there were 72 pages in total of lines, so four rows of nine per board, and it of course goes act one, so forth, so forth. Let me get the measuring tape. On the video it looks kind of big and imposing, but when you take a script and lay it out like this, it doesn't look that scary, really. And it doesn't seem like, like, uh, for example, the stuff in yellow, those are the lines I speak. The green is my blocking. And wherever you see a pink highlight, that's an exit or an entrance. And the blue X's are scenes where I'm not on stage. So when you step back and look at it all, I don't have a whole bunch of lines. But what even more so it does is it's almost like it takes it and charts it out in a visual way where you can see where most of your problems will be. Um, as John, obviously my biggest chunks are over here where my monologue is and the part before with Jessica Strong. Also, I, any significant parts you label, what that helps you do is keep in mind the order of events for the show because I find myself kind of forgetting what scenes are where, especially ones that concern me. You can probably use maybe a different color sticky note for scenes that you're not in just to know what order everything is because I honestly... Don't really know what's going on in some of these right here because when I'm not on the stage, I'm in the back with my head buried in a script. But up here beginning, of course, my Jake Strong scene, soup, Jake Strong again, I'm gone, gone until Miles scene and the uh, canceling the show, me getting mad at Ollie, off stage again. Uh, what I can tell from act one, which goes all the way here and to there, even though it's the biggest act, I do most of my stuff over here in Act 2. Uh, a lot of that is because, based on the show, four people die essentially right here by Act 2, which means, of course, there are less pages, but it's split among much less people. Therefore, we're doing a whole lot more stuff, and we have much more greater chunks. Uh, Amy, of course, has all of her th scenes right here. I mark off some of my big, chunky parts where I start saying the really dumb things about women. Amy comes after me, then I explain why I didn't do it to Amy. Tyler's big giant chunk, uh, Brooke shot, Miles comes out, us making the deal, and then my final little monologue over here. When I do this, I can kind of easily help, uh, easily tell that if I were to narrow things down into the parts of the lines where I just need to familiarize myself with most, it's probably this beginning chunk right here, because it's mostly just me and Jake Strong. Um, I have plenty of gaps in between these chunks where I can easily backstage while practicing lines. I can go back and just recheck this. Okay, that, 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 those, that, that. Then I'm off stage again to go refill my head. And of course, the more you do it as rehearsals go on, the more it stays in your head. And over here, of course, this is the big monologue. And But I have a whole act to, to make sure that I know this before I go on. Um, and that will help. And of course, you know, by the time you get to show time, it should be, you know, stuck in your head where you don't quite have to go recharge, so to say. But another hardest thing about this final act is we're all on stage, or as I am, for, if you say there's a page a minute, but with this show, maybe a page is a minute and ten seconds. You have one plus nine is ten, plus another eight and a half, uh, eighteen and a half, nineteen or so pages. Twenty-five minutes. For about twenty-five minutes, we are all up there on stage the whole time. No exits, no leaves. There is no chance to peek at a script and get your head back in track. So by putting things like this, bam, 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 you know what order it's going to come in. Also, since it is on a trifold board, when you are no longer needing to look at it and rehearse it, 
just fold it up, tuck it away under the bed. Um, at the same time, I found this a lot easier than practicing with a script in your hand. Set it up on the wall in your garage like I've done, put it up in a bedroom. Um, aside from these two lines over here, uh, all of my Act 1 stuff is on one side, all of my Act 2 stuff is on the other side. Act 1 spills over for this much, so if I want to practice Act 1, I can just put this whole second one away. But this is just a good way to help visualize and make sure which, which lines go where. Um, and yeah, some folks are visual learners like I am. It helps me to just keep in mind what does what. Also, when you do this, when you photocopy your script, uh, re-highlighting everything will help you learn the lines as well because um, you have to look at every line bit by bit. Even better, don't look at your old script to make sure you're highlighting all the right stuff until after you're done. Look through the script, make sure you know where the parts are, and I don't know, that's just a little tip. I've got this tucked away that I'm going to use over the weekend, and maybe it'll work for some of you too.